लव कॉफी आई नो दिस आई लव कॉफी Somewhere it's just pissing off that after working for so many years, I don't know why I still have to constantly prove myself. A lot of people also say, "So, आप बताइए आप इतने कम projects क्यों कर रहे हैं?" And it's not like people are sitting over here and offering me projects every day. So, आप अपनी scripts कैसे choose करते हैं? I don't choose. Until do you do your thing? <laughs> Passing shot, yeah, and we'll be free. Okay. Hi, Ani. Well, did we say steps? Yeah, <laughs> we're working on it. Everyone. Neha, welcome to Film Companion. Thank you very much. It's so exciting to be here, and I love the fact that you've chosen this spot. Yeah, you know. Yeah, feels like home. It is. It does feel like home. I feel like you and I have managed to have some pretty iconic chats in the past. Yeah. Especially right. given how no filtered and witty you are. So you are. <laughs> three years, another yeah. baby, yeah. and a whole freaking pandemic later. Yeah. Welcome to spill the tea. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you very much. It's so exciting to be here. A and B. I just feel like this is the only place I can be. Uh, no filter for real. The rest of it is just a title. You heard that yeah, on the rest of the tea. Yeah, yeah. No, but because you've promised to bring no filter, mm -hmm. I'm going to bring the filter in the form of some incredible filter coffee. Wow. Because that's all the filter that this conversation is going to have. Mm -hmm. I have a secret spot in Bandra that okay. I'm going to introduce you to while we walk and talk. These really quaint bylanes. It's really a vibe, yeah. Yeah, it's really a vibe, and I'm just so like you know when I come here and I see this spot and I'm like. Wow, this is what like growing up in Mumbai feels like. Because I've been here like twenty years of my really? life. Really, around. Yeah. Yeah, like right here, the next yeah. lane. I didn't even know. Wow, that this existed, I, that you were here, and this little quaint little steps in the middle. My of my daughter actually, you know, her real test of learning how to ride a scooter was around the building circumference, like all Mumbai homes, mm -hmm. and then she was like, "I'm going to go slide down from here to here to oh, here." Oh really? Yeah, and now they do it. They do it around here, which is good. This I is no yeah. Idea. This is the litmus test. If your kid knows how to ride a scooter. Do not try this at home. Do not try this alone. In fact, do not try it at all. I didn't know that the steps had a story, but mm. on to more stories. You yeah. know, broad math sort of tells me that No Filter Neha season six is possibly the second longest running chat show in India after Karan Johar. Wow, really? I didn't, I didn't know Even that. Even Simi Garewal was lesser. So break down that feeling for me. <laughs> wow, I have goosebumps right now. I'm just like, yeah. I just hope like brands and sponsors are watching so we can go on to season seven. That's all we need, and that's a wrap. <laughs> we can go home now. Yeah, I'm done. Is Sky promo banana, please for me. <laughs> But you know, three weeks back, yeah. I saw that you had a housewarming party, and paparazzi proof sort of tells me that half the industry has shown up there to celebrate you both, okay. which is amazing. Okay. But my question really is, what is the hack to being besties with nearly everyone at a time when so much of the insecure uh, the industry thrives on competition, on insecurity? But then there's You and Anga just living your best lives. Everyone hopping in, hopping out. You know, honestly, I actually want to clarify because you know, in a couple of interviews, and I'm hoping that this one is one of those where you ask me. So, what's that one rumor you heard about yourself? Mm -hmm. The rumor is that you know, I had a housewarming party. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it it was just a party, and you know, Anga and me are both from Delhi, and and the way Delhi parties, and and this is not a big differentiator between Mumbai and Delhi. Mumbai is very polite when it comes mm -hmm. to the party planning, and um, you know, they're like. So what is the occasion? Um, kya chal raha hai? What can we bring? You know they do that in Delhi when you call people and because we spend half our lives there. Pehle inka phone ho jaye, half our lives there. But this is also the fun of shooting yeah. in Bandra. I say, uncle, do you do your thing? <laughs> Passing shot, yeah, and we'll be free. Okay. <laughs> And yeah, there's no continuity jump because we're picking it up from, from you. There. Okay, fine. <laughs> You're the producer, <laughs> and how? I'm coming to that as well. <laughs> no, so you know the thing is that in Delhi, when you call someone, ki we're having a party, so people are like, "Thik hai, aa jaate hai." So we just wanted to do like an old school party where it's like no reason, no occasion, no nothing. We and yet this many people showed no, up. No, we also feel bad for the ones we didn't like. We couldn't reach out to because we literally planned it like forty eight hours, you know, give or okay. take. Okay. So we were calling people like on the last day, saying rock up, show up, and they're like, what is it? And I felt like I was straight out of college. You know, when you're like in the morning, you plan. So शाम को कुछ करते. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Hi, Ani. 
Yeah. I will yeah. thought this through fully. Yeah. But I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, did we say steps? Yeah. <laughs> We're working on it. Everyone. Bilkul. Yeah. I just want to tell everyone there was shanti. Nobody was here. And now I feel like this has become thoroughfare. Because. But, because. No, no, no. Because Ma'am has arrived. Ke ke yeah. And then. Um, Let's actually get a step. I also feel that. Uh, I don't know um, if this is a good thing that we, Angad and I don't feel like competition to a lot of people. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, no, maybe that's not. But I, I mean, people are chill. And that's what the show is about, right? Yeah. Even no filters like that. Like, I mean, if you're not promoting a film, if you're not out there talking about a brand or some big launch that you're happening, I'm very happy to like have this conversation. Also, I'm very happy to have the conversation with you if you have date and time for me. So that's another one because <laughs> wo bhi nahi milta hai. and you know, it's a tough one. And likewise, I feel like there's an, it's a non-agenda relationship I have with most people in my life and I know where to pick it up from. Yeah. I do get accused of being this 60% friend because I also am absent without leave. So mm -hmm. I was actually coming to that because while you of course come across as someone who's so friendly and easy to talk to and I can vouch for that as well. I feel like you let very few people in. Am I right in understanding but that? Especially when shit goes really down. <laughs> like are you very... Yeah, I am. In fact, you, you've got it absolutely right. So I mean, I'm the kind of person who will probably make a show called No Filter Nea, but there's very little you'll know about me or what's going on. So you know, and when, when um, kind of, um, are we allowed to say shit? Okay, I mean, you're like, feel free. Okay, <laughs> so when she hits the ceiling, you're almost like, um, I'm like, okay, let's just fall off the wagon for a little bit, sort this out, and figure it out on your own. Because I also like, you know, um, I kind of, I don't know whether my problems are big enough for other people's time, and I always hold back whether and this thing. But I, I mean, I'm always there for everyone else when they when they need. That's me. what I'm coming to. I was actually talking to Karan Johar and even Anurag Kashyap who are also, in my opinion, you know, yaro ka yaar and on everyone's speed dial. Yeah. And they were both telling me that at times it does get exhausting and sometimes you just want people to be there for you. Yeah. Does that happen to you? Ever since I've had kids, and I'm going to admit it for the first time on your show, I don't have the time or I don't seem to be able to make the time. I don't know Amen if that, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah I know. And, and you know how hard it is. Like for us to coordinate this interview and I know that, you know, this one's going to be a great conversation. We work around it. We schedule it. But don't like, if you push my 12 o'clock chat to 12.45, my day goes down the drain. Yeah. I mean, it's a non-negotiable. Yeah. So like that, I mean, I'm there, but I, I, I have put a few things on hold and I've taken the closest people in my life for granted and I allow them to do the same. If you're talking about where my relationships stand. Yeah. And um, yeah, also speaks to my husband. Find yeah. your tribe. You've find, managed to do that? Yeah. I find my tribe. Yeah. Yeah. Now I think I do. I have two sets of uh, mommy kind of friends. Because they get it. They get it. I'm on two mommy group chats that I'm really close to. And I'm so close to them that I tell them that I've archived your chats. <laughs> and they <laughs> That's don't. That's the next level of closeness. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't judge me. And I'm like, for anything, DM me. And if I'm panicking, <laughs> I'll come back. And they're like, wow, you got guts. So that's what it is. So like two really fun group of mommy kind of friends, my old friends and for everyone else who I was hanging out with in the middle, I'm really sorry, but I'll be back in a few years. But I'm not that sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for the filter coffee. So since this conversation yeah. is as I mean, I, I tip my hat off to you that in the middle of all this, like sitting in a bandstand, every time I come here to the steps, now I'm like, hi, mirko koi coffee la de. My wish huh? is going is to come. now come true. It's yeah. this amazing place. I'm going to call them in called Nair and Fire. It's yeah. a cloud kitchen right on the, besides the steps. Okay. I love their food. I'm Malayali. Mm -hmm. And now there's some I was also amazing. born and raised in Kerala. Thank Lele you. Now you make it? There's an art to that as well. Oh. Oh. banana <laughs> How are you with coffee? You love coffee, I know yeah. this. I love coffee. Oh, this is also come only. It's oh, not yeah. too much. It's very looks nice. Good, it's yeah. strong. Yeah, looks damn good. Oh. <laughs> 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 
क्या बात है एक्टर शुड गेट आउट ऑफ बैंकुट हॉल्स एंड फन ऑन द स्ट्रीट टू गुड इट्स टू गुड सो पिकनिक इन द मिडल ऑफ नो वे नायर ऑन फायर सो थिंग्स क्लियरली Yeah. It is a oh. Oh my God. Thank you. 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 Thank But you know, twenty years ago, you very, very famously said that sex and Shah Rukh Khan sells. Yeah, and that clearly holds true even today. I'm hoping so. I mean, Why haven't you pulled the trump card out? And how far will you go to make it happen? <laughs> I mean, look at me. <laughs> like I have been screaming from rooftops. It's not happening. And then you know, uh, at 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 some point, I'm hoping that somewhere the message goes, and I can interview um, Shah Rukh mm-hmm. because I've I've actually. I think I've I've spoken to him a couple of times on like stage shows and yeah. stuff, and uh, of course socially and you know I've had the good fortune of of going to his house, having some great conversations. So you can confirm he smells like a dream. I mean I don't know. I I, I was just listening and I knew I was like I'm not even going to breathe this boy <laughs> this moment. I'm a huge Shah Rukh Khan fan, and there's no shying away from that. There is no shying away from that. I mean, I obviously can't like I'm not doing a film or doing something. I mean, of course, I mean, if wishes were horses, one day I want to become such a big producer that I can make a movie with him. Oh. But I don't know any of those things. But on my talk show, eventually, I hopefully at some point we manifest. We over manifest filter over coffee, over filter coffee. Manifest. Yeah. No, absolutely. But you know, you turned forty a couple of years ago, and last year, one of your really close friends, Soha, was telling me very candidly. For the longest time, Bollywood didn't know what to do with a woman in her forties because she was too young to be a mom and too old to be the stereotypical heroine. But in my books, you've done some of your best work in the last couple of years. How have you managed to convince them to see you differently? You know, um, it's it's very hard. Like a lot of people, you've asked this question really nicely. But a lot of people also say, so आप बताइए आप इतने कम projects क्यों कर रहे हैं? And it's not like people are sitting over here and offering me projects every day. So आप अपनी scripts कैसे choose करते हैं? I don't choose. The scripts choose me, and I'm just like, okay, this is what it is. I'm, am I, you know, is it fit enough for me? Am I okay? Like last week, I was sitting over there and I was, you know, Angad put things in perspective for me, and uh, I said no to two. projects which i was possibly you know one of the leads and on an ott show right now to play a lead is a very big thing but you know both of them one of them was like you have this kid and i'm fine with it but to cast me as a mother of a child who's like some 18 or 20 years old is a bit unfair i feel like i'm 6 years too soon for it yeah. and at the same time the next project also came like that and i was like you know and that's when he told me that that's okay you define what you want to do you decide what your price should be you decide the scripts you need to choose and at the same time don't look at it that hey this is the way you're getting cast just look at it that you're still in a position that's powerful enough where you're turning down two scripts but the truth is they don't come every day to you it's not like somebody and when you make that call and am i going to lie to you sitting over here and say then oh, i i don't call people no i call casting directors i do my Of course, in the past three months, I haven't. I've been busy doing my own thing. I had that much of a hustle. So you'll pick up the phone and yeah. I I mean, the hustle is definitely there. If nothing else is happening, I'm going to take that window and produce my talk show. So you know, you have to constantly keep at it. There's no that was my next question, and it's really something that I find so incredible about you because the hustle is very very real. For example, when the offers weren't exciting enough, you turn to roadies, for instance. Yeah. Then you'll go on and you'll host some. Really, like anchor some really prestigious shows, like the absolute pro that you are. You'll take on influencer marketing. It just feels like nothing is below your pay grade, and the hustle is always on. Where is that drive coming from? But the constant is the constant need to work. I don't know why I have it, but I'm just I'm a I'm 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 like fish out of water if like you know my phone doesn't ring, and it's the same feeling I used to have when I was in Delhi. You know, there's to be this place called Malviya Nagar. and we all used to go there and do modeling and you know there were a couple of agencies mm. and some while you're sitting here and 
you know, you could be, I used to do ram shows as well. So we're all after hair and makeup sitting and somebody's phone would ring and I'd be like, why isn't my phone ringing? Because you're sort of in the in a room mm -hmm. where you're possibly going to get cast and you look the same. And it's not competition. I've never been that person. I'm very happy when other people are working. I'm very happy when I'm working. And it doesn't like, even in my closest friend, like my closest friends are people from the business. I'm, I'm, I'm so close to Soha. Mm -hmm. I'm so aware of the stuff that's going on with Karina, and you know, our, our boys are like besties. Mm -hmm. I speak to her every day. I'm really happy everybody's working. But the truth is that I just want to get up and work every day, and I don't know why. I, I, I don't want to slow down. So that's where the hustle comes from. It doesn't come from any other place. And then also, it somewhere it's just pissing off that after working for so many years. You know, I don't know why, maybe it's just an impression that's from the outside mm -hmm. that I have or maybe this is something I make up in my head or it is the ultimate truth that I just feel like I still have to constantly prove myself. So, you know, it's it's a mix of, like Soha tells me all the time, she's just like, it's okay, just slow down, you don't, you don't need to. Mm -hmm. But the only two humans who've made me slow down are my children. So. Um, for instance, like, you know, when I was very new, I did my first film with Ajay Devgan and cut me if I'm talking too no, much. No, no, not at all. Or cut it on the edit. <laughs> and yeah, whatever you want to do. So, you know, like, um, it's the coffee that's got me going. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying that, like, you know, and I would just see, wow, man, such a big star. And takes Saturday after Saturday evening, doesn't come to work till Monday because he takes his weekends off for his children. And I was like, ek din itna bada banna hai. But now I do it. Wow. So I may not have those roles, but I have the attitude. The that, priorities. Yeah. That, theek hai. Show bhi host karenge, Saturday shaam ko kar lenge. Sunday ko, I mean, either the paycheck should be worth it, but mm. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I can take my children for spring break after this. <laughs> or then it should be like, nahi yaar, mujhe nahi karna. Because you see them and then, you know, this is the only time. They're two and five. The only time they hold on to you and say, no mama, don't go to work. And it's okay. I love it. I love it. Like, I'm just like, wow, this is what I need to come back to. I've never, I've been in Bombay 20 years. I've never come back to like anyone except my household opening and saying, kya khaoge? <laughs> Which also because, you know, it's her job to ask me as opposed to that, like, mama. And then they come running and we have a corridor in the house. It's just like, I just stand at the end because I want to see. It takes a while. It's like he's running a <laughs> kilometer. Also, it's just a yeah, little feet. But it's great. Yeah, all of it is great. But I don't know, I was proving a point. I no, the Sunday's off and I was actually coming to the two really, really adorable babies that you have made. Mm. And the fact that you've managed As to keep you, them. one. Thank you. Yeah. Keep them away from the media glare without any of the brouhaha attached to it. I don't know if you know what I mean, but that picture of Meher walking out with a giant lollipop on her face is iconic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you noticed. I thought that, oh my God, that's my girl. I don't know if anyone's noticed that image. If you can like put that image right I here. On edit. But that was incredible. Incredible. That girl. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah. She's like, you want a picture of me? You wait for me to decide. I make the rules. And you know, I love the paths because so many times there's been an opportunity like, you know, you, you kind of but you're somewhere in the park, yeah. they're there. And I tell them to mat karo, mera photo lelo, aap bacho ka mat lo. Mm -hmm. And they're totally chill okay. about it and they, they, they do it. But the lollipop was just, <laughs> I was like, Meher, where's your mask? She's like, mama, in the car. And I'm like, now what? She's like, wow. She went for it. She's <laughs> your daughter. <laughs> I absolutely yeah, love yeah. that. <laughs> but I wanted to talk about, of course, it's great to be no filtered and you do, totally own that. But are there ever repercussions to it? Because I think you were one of perhaps the only few actors I've heard talk about having a child outside of wedlock. Did you have to weigh your words? Do you think twice before speaking your heart? Does one need to or have you found a sweet spot for yourself? You know, I was actually um, kind of speaking more and I was not watching my P's and Q's when I was much younger. And then in your 20s without social media, there's a lot you can get away with. And most of us have. Now, I mean, I feel everyone has a voice. As long as you're not offending anyone. Sorry. But aren't you always? Inevitably. That's what I'm coming to. <laughs> as long as you're not offending anyone. But then it's the mind that plays games with you. And it's also the English language. Anything I say can have a dual meaning. Hmm. Like, um, I don't know, like the, the coffee is hot. Uh, or if I say it's hot. I mean, if you just take it out of context and you roll a little thing and make a gif of me saying it's hot, mm. the show just becomes something else. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, 
everyone has an opinion about everything. everything. For what? I thought we all were very busy doing our own thing, but we're not. Like we're so. I feel mean, now the world has become even more invasive because of kind of um, social media and then you know putting things out. I'm just like I honestly have never had the time to form an opinion on what somebody says. I'm the kind of person when I read something or see something, I'm just like, oh, it doesn't feel right. Oh yeah, this makes sense. But then I move on with my day. Like if I have said something, I'm okay to bear the repercussions. But you want to go to like my family and my extended family and and all of that. Then you know the next time around, I'm just like, I won't say anything. Why does it need to get to my children? Like it's just better to keep quiet. So you there know? are repercussions. Of course there are repercussions, and of course there are. I mean, because you're not out there to offend anyone, but people will get offended no matter what you say or do. So that's why you have to be so careful. I'm sure even you are. You're a producer. You're a host, and you're like. ये नहीं बोलते हैं thinking about cancel culture of course it exists yeah all of that but I think it will change like it's cyclic and moving forward like how you know a few years ago the trolling got so bad where people were like uh, not getting pulled up for it now slowly slowly people are getting pulled up or like if somebody you know does that deep fake kind mm-hmm. of stuff you get down to the bottom of it and you find the person and you say that you know this That's is not who, cool it's yeah. not cool and this is who this person is In a few years from now, I feel the climate will come back to like, you know, letting everyone talk. But I don't know what the future has in store. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want this clip to be picked up and then things getting worse and you know joining the dots. But I want to say that in the present, at least, you seem to have built a really sweet world for yourself. A very real world, like when you'll troll your husband on Instagram because don't we all? Yeah. Uh, and yet there's a very very sweet little family that we see. A little world of your own. Yeah. How much work has it taken for you to just get to this place of just feeling your most authentic self? I think the maximum work, and I mean, I'm never the person to talk like this, but I, I was hoping that, especially in this interview, I don't uh, use this word. But there's a lot of inner work. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of inner work, and that needs to happen. And you have to like, kind of, you know, with your partner as well, and even with uh, just sitting by yourself, you have. to walk the mile to know how long it is you have to sweat the mile you have to you have to make sure that you take those breaks you slow down you pace it out everything because you're the only one who can do it it's it's lonely it's long it's hard but when you get to the fin- there is no finish line but when you get to the other side it's just beautiful it's like you know it's an uphill climb every day but the truth is that when you're on top of the mountain it's just it's just the most scenic spot and uh, with anger than me also it's you know we've been married like almost 6 years now and as soon as we got married we had a child within 6 months and you know it was great because we're living our honeymoon phase and it's also the hardest phase of our lives you God know God knows it is yeah <laughs> to have a baby to be in postpartum and i wouldn't want it any other way because there's there's so much like love and there's so much support and there's so much of everything like you know the second time around i just told him he's like what do you want out of me i just i was like you take care of the older one and and don't be around because let her sleep you sleep you be rested and we were just like doing sleep management and he gets it yeah. and it's cool and it's not that we have divided duties i i don't want to say that we're both parents you're both equal parents equal parents exactly. and it's just we just have this sense of who needs what because you both want to yes we forget to say that like dad's love being around as well yeah <laughs> but knock on wood you really do make it work and and also in our business there but it's, it's it's a lot of work and there are good days and there are bad days and then the, as long as the good days are great and better than the bad days it's it's okay it's i'm working. not going to turn on you oh we never fight we do and it's about the silliest things and sometimes i just find it so hard to kind of keep a straight face in the middle of a fight because my his problem in the okay i must say this i never said this out in the open this is funny he's like he finds it exhausting to fight with me because i start fighting and then i don't let him prove a point and then to prove a point he starts yelling and i'm like you can't yell oh that's the, not yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah, not if i fight he's like okay i can't yell i can't talk and then when he starts talking in the fight i travel because i'm like oh lunch mein kya banana hai bataya nahi you've exited I've the building exited <laughs> of fight he hates that And There's why no am I saying this you. on a show? <laughs> like this should all not be there on the show. It's My husband no is filter, no, we yeah, talked about no, like cut, 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 <laughs> give cut, her cut. more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> But you know the other thing about so. us and the world we sort of operate in is that the show must go on. 
you know that I lost my mom a couple of weeks ago and honestly like thank you for scheduling this at a time when I was ready to talk because it's also hard to make an interview happen. You know that and I know that as well. But I was at the mommy opening night when you walked out to sort of um, anchor the entire opening night right after you had also lost your father-in-law. How how is that for you? Like what was that evening like? How do you pull the the muscle to do what you need to do? Because the stakes are high, we know that. I um, uh, I mean, and strangely, I don't know why, but it, it also comes with judgment when you come back so soon to yeah. work. Yes. yes. And uh, I asked my husband and I, I did uh, kind of tell him that, you know, this is what I, I need to do and I'm going to cancel because I want to be here with you. And uh, we had uh, dad's last rites. We went ahead. We finished. Um, what we needed to do and he looked at me and he's like you know dad wouldn't want it any other way don't cancel on things and I'm like what do you mean and then that's the time he told me that I was preparing that's he I'm going to paraphrase for Anga then he said that I was, I'm preparing for an international race and I'm going to go run it because dad wouldn't want it any other way and I was like wow so he's and I said what's your plan he's like I'm going to take this flight I'm going to go run this race and the boy went and ran the race and he won gold in an international race where he represented the country. And, you know, it's, it's just, um, I don't know what the feeling is at that time. And I'm going to be honest, it's n- the morning phase will never end. It will yeah. never end. Mm-hmm. It will never get easy. You just get busy. You get, you know, life takes over. And then when you have that time and you sit back and you think and I see... Anger, then I see myself, we sit and we talk about dad and sometimes it's emotional and sometimes we reminisce everything yes. that he's, you know, taught Stood us for, yeah. and more so him. And we come back and yeah, but, but hosting mommy was hard. It was uh, because I was just, uh, it, you know, we just lost him. And, and for me, like, A, um, um, losing dad also... You know, I don't, I didn't know, I don't know how it is for you, but it was, I didn't know how to explain it to the kids for a long time, at least a week or 10 days. And then, you know, it's the little stories and then you come up with it and you then, you know, address ease them into the conversation. But yeah, I'm, uh, the show must go on. It is true. How are you? I think I'm okay. She would want this. She was always super proud of me. So I think I'm okay. And conversations like this remind me uh, that I will be okay. Of course you will be okay. Look yeah. at you. Yeah. yeah. I want to ask you before I wrap. We've just celebrated Women's Day. And I want to know from you, how often do you pause and just say, Good job, Neha. You've done well. Uh, not often enough. I'm, I, I've changed that now. And uh, I mean, when I was younger, it, I was just like, you know, the chase was much more and I was Mm -hmm. just running and I didn't know what I was running behind. And now I'm just like, I take breaks and my life is kind of, personally, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's about the little things. It's about sometimes just writing a letter to my daughter or like watching her read for the first time or looking at my son. He's like, mama, look, mama, look, mama, look. And then he does a cartwheel and I'm just like, okay. And then I'm just like, you know, you know how you Achievement unlocked. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah, achievement unlocked. And then you want like, you know, I don't know if you get that feeling. You yeah, want to squish like, them. them and it's like, and then sometimes, you know, their, their, their problems are, are so little, but they become so big. Like in my daughter's case, like, you know, yesterday there was a cuticle that was coming out. I mean, a big deal like we had to get that unicorn band-aid and we had to do all that makes it all better but you know for me like I was just like my personally it was well done for me because I paid attention to everything like it was just it was a mission taking care of that cuticle because I wanted her to know that mama's always going to be around no matter what it is and no problem for her should be small or too small or too big because mama's here and then for everything else she knows how to sort her life out and the one, you know, she's learning the lesson of communication. So she communicated and it was fine. Um, so, yeah, it was it was a, a good day at, at uh, you know, home. And then uh, professionally, I sometimes, you know, I feel like this is good. Uh, you know, you've, you've been around for so many years. You're doing what you want to do. And I don't know anything else. 20 years, the hustle is real. I want to tell you, no, it didn't start 20 years ago. It started in 1998, December. 
now do you do your math yeah wow. i was wow. talking to shahid who was on the opening episode of no filter neha yeah? season 6 he and i know each other for 26 years because he was my dance teacher when i was doing a theater production in delhi oh wow so yeah so coming back to you know we've just celebrated women's day and i feel like not just me like give yourselves a pat on your back and and remind me also to give myself <laughs> one because we get so consumed yes and even if you're leaving your kids and going for work that's also a big one because it's not easy we just everybody says you make it look easy and you can do this and you are a super mom and you know, none of that andar se dil toot jata hai but you got to do what you got to do this true and no one else can except you yourself absolutely yeah. we juggle and we shuffle and we make it work yeah. so happy women's day to you as well and to you thank you thank you for this lovely chat and this was thank amazing. you for this picnic yes, for this little spot that we have discovered more importantly you take care of yourself i will and good 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 luck with no filter neha season infinity but i don't know <laughs> i don't know yeah